Hello gamers, it's Soft Kitty 99 and today we're in House Flipper. We're back at the burned house. When we left off the last episode I was popping in the blinds around the house. I've just completed all of those windows. And now it's time to start on the bedroom. Our first job is going to be to paint up the walls. Both in the bedroom and in the um, living room area. So I think I want to use a light cream in the bedroom. As I said, we want to keep this very neutral, pale, clean house after we did some of the very bright and dark colours in the last one so that we get to do something a little bit different. Yeah. And to be honest, in r real life, most of the time if people are trying to ha flip houses, they really do use the very pale and neutral colours because that leaves the buyers to be able to truly see the house, not the decoration. Because sometimes people do find it really hard to see past the colours, especially if they're not colours that they like themselves. So neutral colours like whites and beiges tend to be the sorts of colours you'll find in a lot of houses when you're out there looking to purchase. Especially if they've been done by people who want to flip the house so that you can actually see the rooms and imagine your own furniture inside the house. And in real life of course you usually buy a house with no furniture so the fact that House Flipper has you decorate everything up is a little bit artificial from the real sales point of view because when you buy a house you don't buy the furniture. But in House Flipper the furniture actually really affects the way the buyers uh, speak about the house. But it is a very fun game and it gives you the opportunity to go around decorating houses up uh, which is something you probably can't do very often in real life. So it's a very fun, relaxing game. Now, don't forget the corners. Look at that, the really grey, nasty wall from the burnt house. Beautiful, clean cream, yay! A little bit more paint. Don't forget inside the windows. Did I get right in the back of that corner there? Yes, I did. And the top. Bye-bye, nasty grey burned walls. Look at the difference. So if you saw a house like that all burned out, you would have thought, oh gosh, what can we do with that then? Just paint it up. And it's beautiful. The living room is going to want a colour too. Do we go with a very, very, very cold, cool colour or should we go for something with a little bit of pale mist? It's a tiny hint of colour. Is that too pink perhaps for some of the people that might buy? We do have a we do have a woman and most of them are men though. Mm, pink's probably not a good idea for men. Um, that's just a little bit too pink, I think. It looks paler on the swatch colour than it actually was in real life. I think that was that just that little bit too pink. We do want something very pale though. Mm. See, these are much too bright, much too bright and dark down here. Sand almond, what's that look like? Ah, oh, that's too dark again. See, the colour swatches are a little bit paler, I think, than the actual colour comes out at. See, the pink mist was much pinker. See, the this is supposed to be that, that's much pinker than this is. I d really don't want to do beige again. Hmm. We've already used the uh, 
I use cream? Should we use beige? Yeah, let's use natural beige, I think. Yes, let's use the natural beige. Yes, that's better. That's a more neutral and it's a slightly sort of browny sandy tint to the colour. So we'll paint around the windows. Don't forget the little nooks and crannies around the windows. I do find that if any, anywhere is where I'm going to forget to paint, it's going to be one of the edges of the window. It's surprising how relaxingly therapeutic it is, painting walls in a game. It sounds a little odd, but when you actually do it, it's, it is quite therapeutic and relaxing. So if you want something to unwind with, I think this is a great game. It also allows you to use your artistic flair and, and try out different colours and things without actually having to spend real money in real life. So if you're planning to decorate your own home, you could try using something like this game to practice with things so you, you're not wasting your money on things that end up not looking right together. And it's just fun and relaxing. Definitely worth a whirl. I've had a lot of fun and definitely got my money's worth out of this game so far. Don't forget those little bits and see I almost forgot this side of the window. Yes. One last wall. Look how bad that is. Look how lovely that is. Bad. Great. Bad. Great. <laughs> One last wall to paint, and then we can start playing with furniture. Oh, here we go, we're nearly there. I need to refill that paint roller. Ooh, that paint pit tin is looking a little bit empty. No, we're going to run out of paint just before we finish, aren't we? Oh. No, you ran out. You ran out with just that little tiny bit left. And this little tiny bit needs painting. Oh, look. One little line here. And then just these edges of this window. We had to buy a whole new can just for these little bit. Nearly there. Yeah. Oh, refill. We all done. Make sure that I've got all the nooks and crannies around the windows. All the windows done. Perfect. We can get rid of the paint can. That looks so much better. So if you remember back to what this place looked like before we started, isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful. So, furniture. Do we go for a single bed and try and sell it as to these? Actually, are all the uh, people in our list, all the people in our list are single people, so we could put in a single bed and leave ourselves more space for furniture, or we could pop in a double bed and put less furniture in. What shall we do? Hmm? Ooh, which one shall we go for? Do we go for a single or a double? Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not sure now. They are they are all grown up people, so they probably would prefer a double bed regardless of whether they're on their own or not. If you get all that extra space and some of them might be hoping to get married. <laughs> quite like this one actually. Double bed It's quite a traditional bed and it looks like it wouldn't be too huge. Do we make it is that too that would be too much to make it 
completely white, wouldn't it? But that looks like there would be a little bit more. Hmm. Will it fit if I do it this way? Will that fit on there? Oh, I like that. grab some bedside tables and see how the fit will go so furniture bed side how about these Anna units with a pale bottom to them by now Right, and then the bed, we can move the bed slightly across because I still think it's not quite, will it fit? Oop, sure it's against, no, that's as far across as that will go. Can we fit the other one in on the other side though? Can we fit, no, see that won't fit now. Hmm. Go a little bit further across. No. Hmm. That won't fit. Hmm. Let's put you over here. And let's see if we can fit something else. A tiny bit, something a little bit narrower. Why are you being any narrower? Let's have a look. Yes, you're narrower, and then we'll be able to move the bed a tiny bit further, I think. So that we can fit the other one in the other side. Beautiful. Right, so now we want lamps on the sides of those. Lamps standing. these little square ones. Yes, I like those. I think they've got a bit of character though, they're quite nice. Get you centred, yes. Lovely. Oh yes, I like that. I like that. Right, then on above the bed, I think I want painting, decorating pictures. What shall we? Ooh, how about this big, beautiful landscape. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Right, we're going to want some furniture. Can we fit a wardrobe? Wardrobe. Can we fit a wardrobe? I quite like this one, actually. Beach. Alder. Oak. Older, perhaps? Ooh, right. Okay, it's struggling a bit with the... Hmm, that's not going to fit there, is it? If we put it over here behind where the door is, it's going to clip badly. Actually, it won't won't accept it there, and it won't accept it here. Okay, that's not going to work. It's too big. Too big. How about you? You would fit. You're a little bit more traditional than some of the guys are probably going to be too happy with. But you will actually fit. That's actually quite nice. I'd like a chest of drawers or a 
unit of some sort, right, let's think. So if we want cupboards. See, this then matches the wardrobe. See, so the wardrobe and that little chest of drawers match, and that fits behind the door, which might even leave us a little space to put in a small like dressing table or desk area. How about dressing table dress? Let's see if we put a dressing table in, that's more very girly again. Maybe a small desk. Let me fit a small desk, a classic small desk perhaps. pop underneath the desk. Let's make that white and let's rotate it so that it can be popped in as far as possible like so. And then we want a lamp, we want a desk lamp, a little simple desk lamp. Let's rotate that a little bit like so, lovely. Let's grab a book and pop that on the desk. No, I don't want a bookcase, I want a book. Let's have a classic book and pop that on the desk. And let's rotate that a little. Like that. I think that looks quite nice. What do you guys think? Have I done a good job? Let's turn around and look at it from this direction. So we've got a beautiful little bed area here. And then our furnishings over here like this. Like so. There we go. I quite like that. Uh, I think a rug on the floor. And then I think this, this room is almost done. Just a few touches for the finishing offs. What sort of rug should we have? Oh, what's this... Uh Let's take a look. How about this one? Very simple. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I want something on top of that little chest, I think. Some sort of... Do we want a picture or do we want a plant or... What shall we do? What's this guy like? Mm. Flower pots are quite colourful there. How about you? Are you too big? Oh yeah, that will work quite well. And then if we pop like a little photograph next to that, I think. One of those little photography type pictures stood next to it. I think that will end, end it quite nice. What should we? Uh, let's have the cat. Let's have a cat picture. You need to rotate round and maybe just turn a tiny bit like that. Beautiful. There we go. So if we back up into the corner so you can see what we've got here. How's that look? I can't like that. I think that that is that room done. So I had hold of this. We still have this, so I think we could actually make use of this. If I turn this and pop it here, you'll say, what are you thinking of, Kitty? Well, what I'm thinking of is using one of those small monitors as a television and popping it on that little unit there because we don't actually have a ton of space for oh, that needs to go a tiny bit further this way because 
that monitor is not we want the monitor to be in front of the wall so that it won't get knocked off Oops. in the right place so you won't knock it off as you go through here and you won't knock it off as you go past there that's that just fits beautifully whereas any of the other televisions would not have fitted at all because they've just been too big for the little space that we've got and we need a sofa we want something that's going to fit quite nicely uh, but we don't want to be yes let's try that what do you think the stripey one so i think we've used the beige one a few times already i don't want to Maybe not. Uh, how about the... How about this one? Will that be too big? What colours have we got this in? Is that too brown though? What about the grey? Let's have a look. Would that would be nicer actually. I think that's nicer. I think that's a nicer sofa than the other one and it does actually fit. I thought that it might be too big. I thought we'd have to go for the other one because that would be the other one that would fit. But that actually, I think that could work quite well. That could work actually. So what else do we need in our living room area? We're going to need some sort of bookcase. And it might be nice. Actually, it might be nice to have a freestanding chair as well. Like that. And we can rotate it. Like that. That will work quite well, I think. And then we can pop in a bookcase. So if I put bookcase, book, case, and let's see which one. So we could have a small, f oh, maybe a small flat one, a white one, and we can pop it along this wall perhaps. That might work. Will it fit? Oh, it might be that little bit too big. It's a little bit. There's a tiny bit more space over here. We could perhaps. Hmm, that's a shame that that bookcase didn't fit actually. What other bookcases is there? Is there anything else? That, that, oh, do, 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 do. what else can we fit in? Yeah, we can put a slim, we can put a slim, oh. Hey, what did you do there? That didn't work. Where's my bookcase? My back. Okay, it's, it's being a little bit temperamental now. That's the one we were looking at. Or do we want it in a, a wood? Yes, I think I want it in the wood. And we could pop it along this wall here. Yeah, that will work. And then we could put a little table coffee table oh what is the smaller how big is this Let's see if we could fit that there like that beautiful and that will work as a coffee table and we could maybe fit a small piece of furniture in the corner maybe pop a table or something not not that we could use it we wouldn't be able to use it as a oh no that's not going to work is it do you know what that nails a little tiny we grab one of these little
little tables and pop that in this corner here and then we can pop a plant a biggish plant on it decorations plants something like this perhaps in a white pot that is lovely I like that then we've got a little coffee table in the area and we've got this I think we want a rug carpet and a rug do we use the same rug as we had before do we use a I quite like this one actually what is this now that's too small how about the one that we used in the bedroom how about if we use the same I kind of like the idea of it being how about if we buy two and put them end on end like like that and then we can move this chair tiny bit back so that it's on the edge of the I think that's going to work so we don't have a lot of space but I think that's a really nice efficient use of the space so you you've got and we could even put in one of those little shoe cupboards one of these little tiny ones right here so you've got your little shoe cupboard with your hooks for your coats you've got your, your book and storage space here for documents and books and things and then you've got your beautiful little lounge area which makes the absolutely the best use possible of the space that we've got here I do think it would be nice to pop in a painting or two. Um, there's not a lot of space on the walls for paintings, but I do think it would be nice to have a little painting of some sort. We're going to want something quite small then, aren't we? An understated, perhaps, or um, simple. Something a little bit simple. Maybe one of those narrow ones that we've had a few times. How big are these photo-type paintings? They're quite small, aren't they? They're a little bit too small, I think. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. We could pop one of these birch paintings up here, I think. Because that way it's by the side of the window and you can see it from... When you sat over there, you'll be looking directly at it and it's right out of the corner of your eye here. We can maybe put something right up here as well. That would look good. Hmm, that would look nice. I do still like the idea of some of those paintings, I think. Painting of a birch forest. What's that look like? Oh, that's quite nice. Yes, that'll look nice above the television, I think. There we go. I think we might be completed. So, let's have a quick last look through the house before we sell it. So we have our bathroom here with our mirror and our little painting. And we have our decorative little cupboard with the towel rolls. And the kitchen isn't terribly functional because there wasn't really space for a sink unit without using the same units that we used the last time. I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, probably not the sort of thing you would do. If you want found a house without a sink, I don't think you'd be terribly thrilled. But one of the buyers does keep saying, why do I need a kitchen? Which I find a little odd. <laughs> 
I, I'm very pleased with the way that this living room has turned out. It's a very small, narrow space to work with, but it's actually come together quite well, I think. Uh, the little painting there and over here, I kind of like that little touch. We've got everything we need in there. And then we've got our bookcase here. Right in our living room area. And our bedroom, that's a lovely little area there. I like those plants and the lights on the bedside table. That's a very character. It's a it's a character piece, isn't it? That square lamp. I like that. And um, we've managed to fit in a little desk and we've even managed to fit in your wardrobe and a chest of drawers and a desk into your bedroom so that you've got absolutely everything that you need in this little house. And I think it's come together absolutely beautifully. So our burned little house has become a beautiful little showpiece. Time to sell. We bought the house for 25000 The house is 36 metres squared. It has four rooms. Oh, I've been working on it for an hour and a half and we are going to sell. Let's see what they think of it. We want to rent the house to two people. Well, I'm sorry, but there aren't two bedrooms, so I don't really think it's practical to let two people rent this house. A big bedroom house suite. There's no place for all his clothes. Man, you've got to spend a lot more if you want a big place with a walk-in closet. <laughs> There's a lovely living room. See, there is a couple there. I didn't see them on the list of people looking interested. The winner is Jimmy Traitor. I'm glad that there isn't a TV in the bedroom. Chicks like expensive house equipment. Oh, you're a bit of a, a bit of an odd character, aren't you? Um, so we would be making ten thousand five hundred pounds profit for this house. I think we should try and, and negotiate a little bit more. Let's try and see if he'll go up a little bit more. Great, let's drink on it. Oh, he's happy to go up a little bit more, so we will now be making 13,600 profit. See, some of the people are happy to negotiate and some of them aren't, so it depends on who you are. This Veronica girl tends not to negotiate. Um, I'm not quite twigged down onto who's prepared to negotiate and who isn't, but the, but Jimmy Trader did just then, so we've made 13,600 profit on the burned house. So this is what it looked like when we started, and this is what it looks like when we finished. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye, and happy gaming!